Everybody has had a finger inside of G4 TV by now. But I'm not done yet because this train wreck has been so massive in such a short amount of time, by the way, that I find myself now unable to look away. We are living in a unprecedented time. We get to see the creation, the plateau, the decline, and the end of G4 TV twice. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care. I don't care if some woman is ranting about how mean and sexist guys are on the I thought we were done. I left this back in 2016, man. I thought we were done with all the feminist rants about girls and gaming and blah, 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 and blah, and blah. But I guess not. I guess she had to resurrect this like it's the Ido Tensei and come back at us again with this stuff. Ask basically says she feels that the the entire, uh, the, the viewer base is sexist. She's not there to be eye candy. If you fapped over Olivia Munn, you didn't get the point, <laughs> even though Olivia Munn was literally on the cover. Playboy. <laughs> Anyways, and then if you don't... Who claps like that? <laughs> claps like he's a seal or something. <laughs> yeah, but this one dude was like, hey, G4 is still around. Either they've been rewriting their history by pretending they didn't cultivate that kind of audience. They often use their female host and suggested skits. Now they're trying to blame the audience when they are the ones that pushed us. Yeah, so I forgot about all this old G4 TV stuff, but apparently, like the women they had before, like the woman she was playing, like Olivia Munn and Morgan Webb, they were very attractive women. That's the reason why G4 picked them. Well, one of the issues with making something all about you is people tend to make it all about you. And so they start finding things that you've done in the past. I don't know, like uh, making that kind of gesture on someone's arse of a work colleague. And obviously she comes back, which basically is an excuse that you can summarize with, it's okay when I do it. I think they tried that one at Blizzard. And he says, I see you've got the excuse all laid out. If the action was reversed and you saw it on a gaming show, you would find nothing wrong with it. Uh, of course, she doesn't respond to that. My point being is old G4 was free willing and unafraid to crack a few eggs. They didn't present themselves as moral arbiters or your teacher giving you a lecture for talking out of turn. They presented themselves as hip cool tech nerds and they celebrated this fact. They got the hottest chicks and dudes that they could find and they gave them a bunch of technology to hold and said, make funny, make money. And that was it. In the early 2000s, G4 felt like the network that were on the cutting edge of technology. Our show was actually pretty heavily censored in the U.S. version, but that that was not so much because of G4 and, and more because of the FCC not allowing as much as uh, the CRTC up here in Canada involving things like nudity and, you know, sexual scenes and, and things like that. We had a hot tub on our show and you're allowed to have uh, toplessness on Canadian television after what's called the watershed hour, which... Uh, I think at the time, I mean, our show was on 11.35 at night, so. Um, but obviously, yes, it was a sexualized depiction. I wore sexy clothes. Um, there were dancers in the show. There were girls in a hot tub, all that stuff. Um, and this was a show on G4 TV. Uh, this was when they were trying to compete with Spike for more of that guy market. Um, our show tended to rate almost neck and neck as many women watched our show as men because we calibrated it to not insult women's intelligence. You know, this is a brand that had hot girls and, um, you know, cleavage and video games and blah, 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 you know, like that's, that was the brand. And then it was cops, right? But G4 in its heyday was this brand that, that that's what it was. You know, you had these nerdy kind of guys hanging out with the girls and you thought the nerdy guys were cool because they were the hot girls. Right. So when you relaunch a brand in a different time, right, that that uh, that is different than when that brand was around, you need to be aware of what that brand previously was. And uh, the idea of like, well, we're going to make a new G4 and it's going to be a better G4, and a more inclusive G4. Like, awesome. That's great. But you can't just disregard everything that it was in this past. And, and to go in and say that that's not what G4 was. Come on. Like you're. You're oblivious. You, you, you clearly don't even know what G4 was or you're just turning a blind eye to it. So, you know, the whole controversy about the, the girl host um, yelling at the, the guys for yelling at her and talking about whatever, it's, it's more of the same. Oh, sorry, I was waving off my vagina. 
Just fanning it off, getting it good. It's for the November issue of FHM. We're shooting Morgan Webb, who is a gaming junkie. She loves video games. She reviews video games on her show. And, you know, we just thought that she'd be a great addition to the issue. Yeah, she sure is a fan of uh, G4. Like, she knew and watched every single episode, was the biggest fan, and saw everything, every last little minute of videos and everything. And how if you don't like what she says and or if you don't like her, you can leave. So maybe for 2022, we be a bit nicer, a bit more self-reflective, and we enjoy the fact that people are working hard to make free content for you. If you don't like it, don't watch it. Peace. Oh, brother, this guy stinks. Now, the one thing I like about this whole speech, this whole rant that she gives, is the amount of applause that she gets from the guys who literally confirm everything that she's saying, okay? The fact that... They said that she wasn't bangable. I, I I laughed at that. I was like, bruh, 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 you on some stuff right now, okay? Compliments that girls find me very attractive. You think I t oh, oh, you, you, you being sexist against me? You fucking bitch. Think I fucking cuss them out and tell them to go fuck themselves? No. No, I'm like, oh, that's cool. Thanks. You know, I take it as a compliment. I don't tell them you're fucking weird. Because it's not. It's part of the human race to find people attractive. Is that why you're probably going to be alone for the rest of your life? Because you just find it weird to find people attractive? You are one stupid cow-looking bitch, aren't you? Can I ask a small, albeit burning, question here? What in herniated, pendulous balls does a 15-minute fallopian femme scolding have to do with Super Mario smashing blocks with his butt-fucking skull? Welcome to the great wild world of being a talking fucking head, hipster mullet. And G4 got yeeted years ago in favor of 15,000 uncensored alternatives on YouTube. Where the fuck have you been, B? Now, to be honest with you, I had no idea what I was looking at. More ways than one. Okay. <laughs> to be honest, I don't think it's the fact that you're a woman. I think it's the fact that you may be seen by some to be an unattractive woman. There's a difference. There's a difference. I hate, I hate to be that guy, but there is a difference, right? Because some of the criticism that Olivia Munn may have got, okay, probably not the same criticism that you're getting. Right? Doubt that this woman has received unflattering comments about her looks on the internet because everybody <laughs> receives unflattering comments about their looks on the internet. And now the assertion that she's making here is specifically that she as a woman is being held to a different standard than maybe her male colleagues. But what frustrates me is when we are taking a, you know, a real problem perhaps, which is bullying online, and now we're trying to twist it into specifically female victimhood. I don't appreciate. G4's return has been abysmal after they let Frost Kieran go on a live stream and attack the very people they expect to watch their content. I talked a few days ago about the G4 TV Reddit protecting her. They were deleting any negative comments about the situation, but she decided to make the situation even worse. Oh, the Frost Karen is back speaking out about you're letting your unconscious biases ruin my day. <laughs> epic fail of a rant about isms and gaming and blaming it all on being a whammon instead of, I don't know, just not that great at her job.